Now that Pangolin Beyond has been configured to receive DMX input, and our additional channels have been configured to respond and all appropriate cues, now we need to patch Pangolin Beyond into our MagicQ console. We do this by configuring MagicQ to use Artnet. Then we go ahead and patch Pangolin Beyond as a profile inside of MagicQ. Once we've done that, we need to add the additional channels that we created to the default Pangolin Beyond profile inside of MagicQ. One very important note is my MagicQ environment is actually configured to set unused channels back to default. And when we actually get to the point where we are patching in the Pangolin fixture, we will need to set the default values for our additional channels. The first thing I need to do inside of my Campsus MagicQ console is configure it to go ahead and use Artnet. Now, there's a couple different ways I can do this from the MagicQ software. I can go up to the Setup menu and choose Net Manager. However, we're going to treat this as if we were on an actual physical console and go ahead and click on the Setup button. Now, this brings us to the Setup screen, which we're going to then go ahead and go over to the Network Soft button. Once we click on that, I need to confirm that the IP address matches what the actual IP address is on my PC. I'm going to do this using my standard Windows tools. I'm going to drop to the command prompt and type ipconfig. Now, since this is a wired connection between Pangolin Beyond and the MagicQ PC using an Ethernet connection, I need to confirm that the IP address on my wired Ethernet connection matches what is currently configured in MagicQ. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on View DMXIO. I need to confirm that Universes 1 and 2 are configured to communicate with Artnet Universe 0 and 1, respectively. Now, since I already have several lighting cues set up on Artnet Universe 0, which is Universe 1 and Magic Queue, I'm going to go ahead and label this as lights. Now, Universe 2 in Magic Q is going to be dedicated strictly to lasers. So I'm going to go ahead and label this as my lasers universe. We're one step closer to getting Pangolin Beyond ready to communicate with Magic Q. Now comes the fun part. We get to patch the Pangolin profile into Magic Q. Now what I'm going to do is click on Choose Head and look for the pangolin entry on the manufacturer screen. Under here I have four different options. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll just go ahead and select the FB3 Beyond profile. With the profile loaded, we now need to add in the additional channels before we patch it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Edit Head Soft button. I'm going to scroll down to where channel 15 is located and then I need to insert four empty channels. Because insert will insert an element before the selected row, I need to go ahead and move my color channel back to number 15. With the four empty cues there, I'm going to go ahead and label them to their respective channel names. And now each of the attributes need to be set to something. So what I'm going to do is for 16, 17, and 18, set those to frame 1, 2, and 3. And for channel 19, I'm going to set to color 2. And finally, we need to set the default values for each of these new channels. Since MagicQ is set to set unused channels to default, we want this set to 0. Now with all of the options set within our profile, what we need to do is patch this into the console itself. So in order to do this, we're going to go back to the, the patch menu, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the patch soft button. Using theater syntax, I'm going to say one profile at universe 2 starting at channel 1. Now Pangolin Beyond is set up. If I go over to my layout 1, I can see that the FB3 is available in my groups palette. Now I can start to set options and start to configure my punt page with any additional laser keys I want to use.